unable to resist the call of the sea. Many came to the Sinai from all over the world. Seduced by its mysterious beauty, they stayed. Meanwhile, the blue hole lured more and more new victims. The number of dead quickly rose above a hundred. The cliff became the last memorial to dozens of brave and crazy men who had willingly plunged into the well of death. Ra's eye, merciless Hathor, never slept. When you descend down into the blue hole going to the arch, there's, there's a feeling you get. It's like you know there's something not quite right. It's like, you know, when you're walking, like, you know, when you're walking down a street, for example, and you think maybe someone might be following you, and you turn around and look, and you know there's nothing there, but it seems like there is, and that's what the feeling I got when I was descending into the arch for the first time. You can't help feeling that there's an extra presence or something sort of spiritual about it. You feel like that, you know, the arch has, it's accepted you down into its depths and then it's let you go, so you have to feel privileged. <laughs> It is a place where there is a door that has that energy there to, to, to take life. And yet the people that have died at the Blue Hole generally dive masters and instructors. The people who go around saying, I'm going to be okay. And when you're at 60 metres down there, with tanks in your back breathing, you know, air, and you've got to have your wits about you because it's your life. And I'm not surprised there are plaques on that wall. The first time I dove the Blue Hole was, in, uh, was at the beginning of 2003 and there was a large group of people. Um, my depth was, uh, maximum depth was 64 meters, um, and it uh, basically scared the hell out of me. And I, I panicked, um, started breathing more heavily, and um, didn't want to go through the arch. I think psychologically, when you go to the Blue Hole, there's, there's all the plaques of the divers that have died there. The, every guidebook tells you how dangerous it is and it's just basically sort of a black spot for sort of mistakes and recklessness. And when I entered the arch from the other side, I felt, wow, that was great. And I felt totally reborn. Okay, I'm gonna sell tickets to the arch. Uh, the arch is a doorway into the future, and if you make it through, you will be enlightened. <laughs> so welcome. <laughs>